Hi, I'm Paul from Emerge Prosthetics, and I want to welcome everyone to our info series. We're going to talk about issues and concerns for partial hand and foot amputees. You may be an amputee, a family or friend researching for a loved one, maybe you're a hobbyist or just some weirdo who has a foot fetish. You might be surprised how many comments I've received about that. Regardless of your interest, I'm glad that you're here. Through years of working with my clients, I'm always trying to come up with better ways to serve their needs. I've developed five principles that I feel are a pretty good starting point and can serve as a basic guide for making a successful prosthesis. Whenever I'm speaking to a prospective client, I always start by going over these principles. My hope is that it will speak to their concerns and their needs and has helped me establish a basic working model. So if you're an amputee or have a pending amputation and want a place to start, you're in the right place. Let's do this. Number one on our list for today is comfort. Now, this may seem obvious, but a surprising amount of custom fitted prosthetics do just the opposite a lot of times. This is particularly true when it comes to partial hand and foot prosthetics. So I'm gonna break down what a comfortable prosthesis should do. To start, an amputation is a pretty traumatic experience for the body. Severing bones, nerves, and blood vessels is not a very pleasant experience. Some amputations are planned prior to surgery and others result from a traumatic event. With traumatic cases, skin grafting may be necessary or leave damaged scar tissue that requires special treatment. In any case, everyone is gonna have a different experience after their amputation. The body goes through a pretty drastic change and the amputated area can be pretty painful and sensitive after the fact. Phantom pain can also occur after an amputation, making things extra fun. I've had clients where a soft touch feels like a bolt of lightning shooting through their body and others have virtually no pain whatsoever. It is never the same. With all of that being said, it is extremely important to work with someone who's aware of this and knows how to treat these issues effectively. This means having experience with the techniques and the materials used in fitting and fabricating of your prosthesis and the impact it's gonna have on you. It's about protecting what's inside the prosthesis, you. It should also improve the condition of your skin. Imagine a nice warm hug. That's really how it should feel, if you like hugs, which I happen to. Bottom line, if your prosthesis is causing blisters, sores, and it just plain hurts, it is not being done right. If you're unaware that your prosthesis is even on, then comfort is attained. Honestly, you can have a prosthesis that can look like a perfect copy of what you had before, but if it feels like a wooden clog that's three sizes too small, you're probably not gonna wear it and you can just use it as a Halloween prop. So if you ever hear, oh, well, uh, You'll get used to it eventually. You can say, no. Paul said it needs to be comfortable. So why is comfort so important? If your prosthesis isn't comfortable, then you're not comfortable and that's not cool. In the next video, we're gonna discuss the second most important principle in this series, suspension. We can then start connecting the dots as we explore these principles, allowing you to be informed and hopefully empowered. Leave any questions and comments below and we'll see you next time.